Hey there, how's it going everybody? Welcome back. Dan here with Plant Abundance on YouTube. Today is a great day. Not just because the weather's so beautiful, but today I get to come out here and pick some wonderful pomegranates. And I'm not just calling them wonderful because of their taste and their beauty. This is actually the variety of pomegranate is called wonderful. And we've got somewhere around 50 plus pomegranates on this tree this year. Pretty happy about that. Some of them even touching the ground over here. But before we harvest some of the fruit, I just want to give you guys a little bit of information about the pomegranate tree if you haven't grown this fruit tree before. The pomegranate is grown from a potted tree, not a bare root. And typically when you buy them, you're gonna get them, they're about one years old. And so you can expect to get fruit two to three years after you plant that potted tree in the ground. And they can get quite large, the trees can get up to 20 plus feet, but you can keep them pruned to a reasonable size. I prune my trees every year. And you can grow these in USDA climate zones seven through 10, although they're probably gonna do a little bit better in the eight through ten zone they do like warm weather something else important to consider as the tree starts to get near its peak ripeness is you really want to back up off the watering as the fruits start to get larger like this otherwise they have a tendency to split open with overwatering. also if you let the fruit hang on the tree too long it will also split so the goal is to harvest at peak ripeness uh, if you do harvest too early the fruit will not continue to ripen on the counter so uh, getting out here at the right time is crucial. Now, most varieties are going to be ready somewhere between mid-September, mid-October. Mid Depends. Some varieties ripen earlier, some a little later. So today is October 15th. So we're on the later side of the spectrum, and still not all of these fruits are completely ready to go. Um, so what I'm really aiming for are some of these larger fruits uh, that have the darker red going. So down here... This is a pretty good one to harvest here. And I recommend when harvesting pomegranates that you actually use some pruners. Unlike other fruit trees, it's you know very easy to just pull them off. Although you can pull these off, you don't want to risk damaging the limbs of the tree because it's going to be your fruiting wood for next year. So just prune them off. So here we've got a beautiful example of a nice ripe pomegranate, wonderful variety. And if you squeeze it, you can feel a little give on this fruit as well. Okay, so to open these up, you really don't need that sharp of a knife, but you just want to go around the top of the fruit first. Just go in about a quarter inch or so, and you can pull that top off. Now you'll notice around the fruit we've got these little ridges. It's like a little star. That's the areas that you want to slice down the side of the fruit now. Again, just going about a quarter inch deep. like so. Now you're going to get yourself a bowl and you can start to pull these off. You can start to remove some more of that membrane material or pith. So once you got your little sections off, one way to do it is to just go around and knock the skin. You can use pretty much anything to do this. You want to pull out some of the larger chunks. Use the knife to get in there a little bit if you need to. that. Move on to the next piece.
If you're the one who's going to eat it and you got clean hands, you can also just use your fingers. We'll go back to the tap technique. Kind of help it along by cracking it open a little bit. This knife really isn't that sharp, guys, so it's not a big deal. If you had a sharp knife, you wouldn't want to be holding it like that, of course. So it takes a little bit of patience, but the reward is well worth it. If you've never had a freshly picked pomegranate off the tree, I highly recommend you eventually get to that point in life. Maybe you're able to grow one of these at home. Got a visitor over here. Let's give her a few of these. Here you go. Come on. If it makes you more comfortable, you can also do this with a spoon. A heavy spoon is better. So there you have it, everything is removed, now you can just pick out any of the white chunks that have fallen in here. And another technique I'll use sometimes is you can just fill this bowl now with a little bit of water and any of those little white chunks that might be in there will float to the top and you can easily remove them, but it's not really necessary. pretty much just as quick if you do this, you know, in a similar fashion just to pick them out real quick. Doesn't that look delicious? Throw this on top of a salad if you want, or just eat it straight up. Mm. Okay, come on. So I encourage you to try your hand at growing yourself some pomegranates. They're nutritious, delicious, easy to grow. They really don't require that much care. They're a beautiful ornamental. In fact, a lot of folks grow it just for the ornamental value. There's certain species that are more prone to produce more flowers than fruit. But uh, I can't see why you wouldn't want to grow these fruits. They're absolutely delicious. So with that, I want to thank everyone for watching. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.